here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. Chris Serino sitting in with us. Now we're just joined by Kevin Jarnigan, KJ of Gun Talk team. How you doing, guys? Well, I'm doing good. This this guy's keeping me busy. I'm good. better. I'm better for seeing <laughs> Kevin. I enjoy seeing him every day. All right, so we got Christian called in here, and he's got a question that I'm going to turn over to you guys. Hey, Christian, you're on the air here. What you got? How you doing, guys? We're having fun. Uh, it sounds like it. I am too. Hey, I'm, uh, so I'm. I figured out uh, a great reason to go and buy three new guns. Uh, well, so I'm going to take my dad. Wait, 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 wait. B- back up. We don't need a reason to buy a gun. Wait, wait a minute. He's got a reason to buy three guns. Shouldn't I mean normally I need three good reasons to buy a gun. <laughs> no, you well, don't. <laughs> it's not just guns. It's going to be optics and suppressors and what what better reason than than some prairie dogs, huh? Ooh, ooh, prairie dogs. Talk oh to me. So Who doesn't like that. Thinking, um, I, I was. I kind of had some thoughts, but I'm looking for some opinion from you guys, too. I figured I'd go and get a, a nice, accurized uh, AR-15, um, a 22-250, a couple things like my dad can shoot. He's getting older, and we can shoot him all day. But mm-hmm. I feel like I need something that reaches a little farther out. What do you guys think? I was thinking of 6 millimeter or 243. What do you well, think? Well, got to define what's what's farther. What are we talking about here? Yeah. I mean, I'm not I'm not a thousand-yard shooter. But something that'll reach out a little, uh, definitely farther than uh, a 223 or a 22 250. Something that that we can handle all day long. Okay, I'm just, let, let me just around. say there are no thousand yard prairie dog shooters. The ones who are are the worst liars you've ever run into in your life. Yeah, that's like finding no, a needle in a haystack. Every guy I talk to is a thousand yard uh, shooter. <laughs> shooter. Just asking. Surround yourself with <laughs> the good ones. That, what you, you know how to make you know how to make it a thousand yard shot? Turn your scope down to the lowest power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what are you guys thinking for caliber, you know? And I mean, considering the ammo availability oh. and, and bullet right. types and that. I'm, I'm going to give you my thought, and then I'm going to turn it over to this guy's. Um, right. If you're going to be shooting all day, and this is going to uh-huh. sound weird if you haven't done this before, recoil becomes a real factor. And believe Absolutely. it or not, forget the 25s, even a 22-250 starts to beat you up all day long. And moving down to a 2-2-3 actually helps significantly. And the other part of it is, and this is where I'm going to turn it over to you, is that we don't need the quote-unquote flat shooting rifles anymore because of what we have for technology. KJ? Oh, the optics. The optics that we have anymore. And range finders. And range finders, yeah. So we, we know our ranges. Um, and I was in a Clint Smith class, and that was one of the biggest eye-openers about what the 223 could actually do out to distance. Yeah. Um, we were hitting targets out to 650 with ease. Um, right. And I, and I don't think, I don't think Heck, that's I do issue. that in three gun. That's <laughs> right. You did that three gun with 223, right? That's 600 yeah. yards is not a not a big deal. Yeah. I, I here's here's what I say. Number one, you still haven't answered the question how far, and. Uh, Number two is, how big is your wallet? Because remember, when you go to shoot prairie dogs, you have to think about actually how far you really need to shoot and how far you are going to shoot. And then think about what's going to be cost effective when you get out there and you just start smoking them little buggers off their mounds. Because, man, they are so cool and so fun. But but you're talking about something that, the size of a Coke bottle. And it, have you done much prairie dog shooting, Christian? I'll tell you what, we got these little ground squirrels up here in northeastern Nevada. Right. We, my buddy and I actually were out here looking looking around for them right now, and, and uh, we shoot hundreds of them in, in a day. Uh, but I've never gone for prairie dogs. I was, I was looking forward to taking my dad's uh, hunt that he can still handle. Yeah, well, prairie, prairie dogs just about twice as big as yeah. those ground squirrels. So if you can, yeah. you know, you already got the experience, but, I mean, I'm just going to echo what these guys are saying. I'm telling you. You got to spend money to get a really accurate AR. Is that fair enough, guys? That's yeah. fair. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, you're you're saying probably uh, for your average shooter, twenty two two fifty or an AR all day long, and and I mean, like I said, I'm not a thousand yard shooter kind of guy. You know what I mean? But well, you could uh, be. I'm looking forward to having. Uh, I guess I could be. I you could be. Some stuff out there. I got one more question for you though. Um, sure. Something I haven't researched just yet. Um, a really good, more precise. 
rangefinder. Um, can you guys recommend any? Well, how big's your wallet? I, I mean, <laughs> big, big. well, it doesn't have to be necessarily. I mean, but, that expensive because there's a no. lot of good ones out there nowadays. Uh, Bushnell just launched one um, at Shot Show, mm -hmm. um, and I think it's like the it's it. They call it like it's like a it's like an archery like range oh, finder, okay. but it goes out to you know thousand twelve hundred right. yards, whatever. Right. Like there's a you know a Bushnell. Bow yeah. five thousand or something, and it's going right. to range out to twenty five hundred yards. Okay. And that sucker is nice, it's ergonomic, far. and it's compact. Yeah, I mean, you're you're looking at in the hundred dollar range for a lot of these now. Oh yeah. You know, it's it's it. Well, and, and bigger is better because if you get one that says it's a six hundred, you can bet it's not going to work out to six hundred. That's a good so, point. Yes. You know, if you get a thousand, it may not really range a thousand, but uh, so yeah. bigger is well, better. So look for like a fifteen hundred yard one for if you're yes. going to go out to a thousand. Yes. Fair enough. Well, yes. there you go. And, and, and hey, Christian, I hope I hope that helps you, man. Look, I, we're running into our break here. I'm going to have to scoot, but I appreciate the call and that. I do like shooting yeah. prairie dogs. You know, because you get to pull the trigger a lot, and, and you get to have like <laughs> cool rifles. You can shoot it with a 6.5, but you can only do it for a while, and then I don't care You're what. Tired. You're tired. It, it, it beats you up. It's commutative. It, it you is. Have to buy more, buy more bullets. <laughs> buy more bullets. Always the answer, right?